Video is nothing without audio. What you have to do is get the sound from out in the studio into where the recorder is here in the control room. So if you pan over here, this is the device known as the audio mixer. And we have to put the power on here. This is what is known as a lavalier microphone, and they've been using pretty much the same lavalier microphone for many, many years, at least 20, 30 years, in cable studios such as this, educational access studios. Comes in a box. The Sony is pretty much the standard uh, ECM-44B. The numbers went up a little bit over the years. This is how a mic is put away. And we'll put this away, put it away OK. And uh, we're just going to get it out. And um, this is kind of tricky because I have a stick mic in my hand. Actually, I should be wearing a lavalier as I do this. I'm going to have it there for the microphone. This thing here is called a windscreen. And the windscreen, if you were outside using a lavalier, you would put it on the head of the mic like that. But we don't need that right now. I see this mic is also missing a clip. All microphones should have clips so that they can clip onto a person. Um, but we'll, we'll run over that after I show you how to put it together now. I'm going to unscrew the mic. There's a fat part and there's a short part. So we unscrew the fat part and we're going to look for it's empty and you see a little picture in there is made for a double A battery. We're going to go get a double A battery right now and a clip. So here we have a mic clip and a double A battery. So we're going to put the double A battery in. You can see the little lump at the top will show you that the little lump at the top goes here. Now for some reason, I don't know how people do it, they don't look at that little picture and they put the mic in backwards causing it not to work. So put it in. We're going to screw it in right here. And now the ending of this lavalier mic is what we call an XLR ending. And the XLR ending goes into something we call the audio patch bay, which is at the end of the audio snake. Now we're going to go back to the head of the mic, and we're going to take the windscreen off. As I say to the kids here, there is no wind in here, so we don't need the windscreen. So we are going to put the clip on. This clip is a little bent, and we're going to put the clip over the head of the mic. Now this clip is a replacement clip, and the thing that tightens around the head of the mic is a little bit too big, so it may not stay on too well. I just managed to do that a little bit. Now, if you get a shot of me, I'm gonna, this is the way you would put a mic on. If I had a tie, it would be a lot easier. Uh, you want to put it as close to the person's mouth as possible. And I can't see what I'm doing because I'm looking at the camera here like that. Now, if I was talking that way, I'd want it more on this side of my shirt. If I was talking to somebody over there, I would want it more on this side of my shirt. When you're wearing a tie, it makes it a lot easier because you can put it right in the middle. Okay, what I neglected to say earlier was that a lavalier mic is used when you don't want it obvious that a person is wearing a mic. This mic that I'm using now is pretty obvious that there's a mic. And sometimes you want it to show because in certain situations it looks a little bit more professional. And it looks kind of impressive to people out in the street and all that stuff when you're holding a mic. Whoa, where are they from? Anyway, uh, to get the audio from the lavalier into the control room, we need to go down to what we call the audio patch bay right here. And the audio patch bay is connected to the, to the control room. The audio patch bay is connected to the control room by the audio snake, and it's called a snake for obvious reasons. We're going to plug the XLR connection into input one. And there it goes into input one. And we're going to just drape the lavalier over this chair. The clip already fell off, but that doesn't matter right now. And we're going to do something. When you don't have a person to do a mic check, I'll show you what you do. Okay, this is a little radio that I bought very cheaply, I think for five bucks. It's shaped like a little Pepsi uh, thing here. And I put the radio next to the lavalier mic, and we're going to go in the control room, and if we can hear that radio, then we know that the mic is working. So this one sounds... Woody, Woody, do you have a question for him? Here is the heart of our audio system, and we are going to see if we get a mic signal coming in from the, from the studio. So here's mic one. We're going to put it up to zero. Zero is as high as you really want to go with any audio source. And we have to, of course, put the master audio, main left and main right up. 
I'm going to put that up right that to zero. So there we go. If you can hear that, it's coming on our wall speakers there. And these needles should be moving, but they haven't really moved that well in years. We can hear it. Now, let's see on the recorder. This is the most important audio meter right here. You get the audio levels on here. And we can, we can adjust our record level here, right there. And if we didn't want to really hear that, we can unplug it like that. Audio is still going into the recorder, but we just can't hear it, okay? And as long as these needles stay somewhat in the middle, if they go too high, you're going to get distorted audio. If they go too low, you're going to get like a hiss and you're not going to be able to hear it too well. But that's how our audio goes in. Okay, now we're going to go back to the mixer now. I'm going to fade our audio down. That's how you do a graceful fade out and a graceful fade in. Sometimes you don't want to shut an audio source off abruptly. If we were running, uh, people were talking in the studio, you might have two of these. You definitely would have two of these or three of these if there were three people. Two of these if there were two people. Two people with lavalier mics on. We'll go into a break and... Before the person dissolves to here, you want the tape operator to press play here. And then there's what we want. And we want the audio for that to be gone, and we want the audio for the PSA to come in. So there it is right there, running. So this is probably a 30-second PSA, public service announcement. And when it ends, we're going to come back into the studio video and audio. I can't accept myself when no one else does. So I'm going to a place where everyone is accepted. All right, let's make believe it's over. It's a little bit longer than I thought. We're going to fade out the audio, and we're going to come back to our camera three, and we're going to bring up the mic again. And that's how it's done. Now in between, if we had a CD player or another source of audio com coming from the computer, we would go from the sound from the studio to the sound of the PSA to some music coming back and then to them opening the mics. So you're bringing up the sound from here and then you're bringing it down, you're bringing up music and you're bringing that down and you're bringing the sound in and that's your audio. So the audio mixer, we'll get into more detail on that in another segment.